Hello everyone and welcome to Vastari Exhibitions webinar. My name is Jenny Yudova. I'm the Traveling Exhibitions Manager here at Vastari and today I will be walking you through um, how to take full advantage of your, your free Vastari account and I'll be focusing specifically on how art museums can use the free Vastari exhibitions account. Before jumping into the platform, I want to introduce Vastari to those who have not heard of it before. Vastari is a technology platform for arts and culture sector. The aim of the platform is to bring more transparency to the sector by facilitating the relationship between the private and public institutions, as well as by focusing on the objects and exhibitions rather than the personal relationships with their owners or organizers. Vistari achieves this by allowing museums to see objects that are available to them for loan from private collections and by managing a platform where institutions as well as private producers can list their touring exhibitions. We have been around since uh, 2012 and currently have a broad collection of objects and well over 200 exhibitions that you can loan. Um, and when it comes to our network of curators and museum professionals, our international reach is over 900 museums. Um, so it's, it's a good community to be part of. And of course, uh, this, the starting point of all of this is uh, our website, which is v10.vastari.com. And once you're on the website, the first thing to do is to register. The registration process is really straightforward. So you'll need your name, you'll need your last name, your email. Because this is a professional uh, resource, we do encourage you to use your institutional emails rather than personal ones and get started so here you will go through an incredibly simple um, registration process so creating your username um, password then confirming password and then after this you need to input some personal information and then right after this the next page it will ask you about your um, institutional information now after you register you will be unable to log in straight away all of our museum accounts have to be approved by a human being, uh, by a member of the Vastari team. And usually they will give you a call within 24 or 48 hours. So please, here on the phone number, uh, please add the phone number that we can reach you on directly or the museum dashboard. Um, and let it be your, again, your professional number rather than your personal mobile number. Um, if you're impatient and you want to start using Vastari exhibitions as soon as possible, uh, you can email us after registration uh, or um, call us after you register and we will approve your account straight away. So, Let's assume we've gone through this, the process of registration and approval. Now we can log in and I will log in with the demo account email. So we'll just wait a bit to log in. And here we are. So we are on the dashboard. Give it some time to load. Uh, the speed of loading will, of course, depend on your internet connection. So once you're on the dashboard, you have um, 
you have a choice of um, two menu types to use. Uh, so there are the icons in the middle, and then there's the menu bar at the top. I have to admit, I'm a bit old fashioned. I prefer to use the menu bar. So let's start first with the search. What are our options here? So we can search the private collections, the exhibitions, the institutions, the resource library, or the exhibition requests. And we'll go through most of them uh, in this webinar. So search private collections does exactly what it says. It allows you to search through our database of objects that are in private collections that are available for exhibition loans. And if uh, you like any of the objects or you want some more information, you can get in touch directly with the owner of the object. Now, in this webinar, we will not actually be looking into what is in the private collections, but we'll go to the next one, which is exhibitions. So let's click and take a look what's here. So search exhibitions does exactly what it says it does. It allows you to search through our traveling exhibitions platform, which at the moment has over 279 exhibitions. Oh, that is a lot of shows and the shows cover a wide range of um, types and themes so we have everything from uh, reverence academy to lego world to wild weather to leonardo da vinci um, so the easiest way to search is by filtering so Let's assume that I am an art museum, a contemporary art museum, searching for a contemporary art exhibition anywhere in the range between fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. And of course, here the hiring fee is listed for three months. So Let's sort it now. Let's start by sorting it, sorting the exhibitions by the historic period. So I'm interested in contemporary art and it's the 21st century. Well, that narrowed it down to 108 exhibitions. And there's still quite a lot, so we can see there's still a mix. It's not just art that is being shown, but it's also popular culture and uh, science, and a bit of everything. Right, so let's narrow it down now by budget. So here we go. So that narrowed it down to 10 results. And out of those 10, actually, quite a few look very relevant. So, hello, my name is Paul Smith. Fear and Love. New Museums look very, it looks very interesting. And then there is Ram Rethinking Art and Machine. Now, as you might well know, there are different ways of working with traveling exhibitions. So there are turnkey exhibitions, which are ready to go. Um, you pay the higher fee, the exhibition arrives already curated with all the labels, all the marketing material, everything really. Um, and then there's another way of working, which is in partnerships. So you will actually have some control over what is in the show and you'll also be at liberty to possibly add objects from your own collection to the show um, or change um, some of the labeling. So in our experience, the majority of art museums usually work in partnership and like to have some 
creative or curatorial say in the exhibition let's assume i'm interested only in those shows that are open for partnership and here we end with three ram rethinking art the machine mustafa saba which is uh contemporary fashion photography and the birdhouse project which is a group show where different artists uh, were inspired by the birdhouse now out of the three let's assume that i'm very much into my new medium so it's ram that i will need so we click on ram and what do we see so we have the the title then the exhibition image and then the brochure of the show so here we also have different tabs there's general information information about content information about conditions logistics and marketing now let's see what all of this means so in the general tab we have the picture credits then we find out who is the producer so it's a canadian um, company called pursuits and the creator is marla vaser who is the ceo of pursuits so we have a bit about the exhibition and then we have a list of artists here so it's five artists are participating plus a little bit about the creator um, the exhibition content what that includes and marketing materials with video links which is actually really great so space here's the more is practical information um so the space requirements uh then there's 60 exhibits in the show the hiring fee is from 50,000 to 100,000 American dollars for three months. Um, the creator is open to negotiations. Um, AV equipment is not required, which is actually brilliant because you don't have to worry about uh, sourcing that. And images copyright is already included in the loan fee which is also fantastic because that means you don't have to get in touch with the artist to get permission to use the images in your marketing materials and the show is family friendly now let's see who hosted it in the past so the founding museum was the museum in canada and the art gallery of nova scotia also hosted it and here you can see that it's actually clickable so this will take you to vastari exhibitions uh, sorry vastari institutions that will have some information about the museum uh, the show had some sponsors it's in english and then there's some tags that will tell you a bit more about it now let's go up and let's see what is the content of the show so you get with the show labels wall panels again the show is children friendly so families are welcome now, are there any conditions that it needs so it needs to have regulated temperature on logistics it's medium security but the exhibition requires constant patrolling while open to the public and a comprehensive alarm system and secure premises for silent hours so this is fairly straightforward so we have the insurance fee here uh, the installation the installation information and the takedown information as well so number of days required a number of technicians required and then there's a bit more about the shipping logistics including the approximate costs which is fantastic so you can already start planning your budget in advance and let's see what's marketing uh, here's a list of all the marketing material that comes to it including an educational package and supporting marketing materials so really 
this gives you a pretty great overview and a lot of information about the show up front. So you can already start making decisions whether or not the show fits with the programming and the mission of your institution. Um, and also, does the size fit? Do you have a budget for this? Um, will uh, you be able to afford the shipping costs, the insurance costs? So all the information necessary is here, but of course not all of it. Um, so this is really where the PDF brochure comes in. So if the owner of the exhibition had something else to add, it'll be in the promotional brochure. In this case, the brochure has more information about the museums that have previously hosted the exhibition, as well as more information about the participating artists, including links to YouTube videos about the artists. Just pause it here and return back to the PDF. Now, the PDF and the profile should give you enough information to make the initial um, decision of whether to proceed further uh, or not to proceed. Let's assume that here you really like what you saw and you want to get in touch with um, the owner of the exhibition, who is Marla Facer. So here it's easy to do. You just click on this little blue envelope and you get in touch. Um, so you already have the subject line. Let's say you don't want to stay anonymous. You want them to know who you are. And you can just type your message uh, here. And then you press send. Right. Of course, uh, this is a demo. So we're not going to actually send a message to Marlon. Let's close it. Now, this is how you book an exhibition, how you get in touch with the exhibition owners and find an exhibition of a starry exhibitions. Uh, but as I've um, mentioned at the beginning, there is a bit more functionality uh, that comes with your free Vistari profile. So let's explore what else you can do. For that, let us return back to the menu at the top. So you can search private collections, you can search exhibitions, you can search ex institutions. And we have actually briefly seen this part already uh, when we went to Vistari institutions. Then there's the resource library, which is um, a blog run by our team, which uh, talks about industry events and conferences. And then the final is exhibition requests. And this will take you to one of the newer areas of our website, which we launched in the summer. So exhibition requests, here you can see which institutions around the world are searching for what shows and for when. So let's see. So here, for example, we have a museum in Tartu in Estonia, and they're searching for a show for 2018, for next year, and they're looking for something science related. And then there's a museum in Sydney, Australia, um, that is looking for design exhibitions. Again, Tartu is looking for digital cultures. A Finnish museum is looking for science and popular culture. And an Australian uh, museum is looking for science and digital cultures. So here, if, if you believe your institution has an exhibition that would fit, um, you can click Apply and 
get in touch with uh, the museum that posted the request. But here in this scenario, we are searching for a show. We're searching for a show of contemporary art. So we already found Ram. And uh, now we're, we're thinking that we should probably cast a wider net and see what other shows are out there. So how would you go around doing this? Well, you go to request and request exhibition. And here you can create a new exhibition request. So let's say we're actually searching an exhibition for 2020. Um, we're not sure when in the year it's going to happen. Oops. And um, let's say we are a museum in Britain, and let's say we're in Bristol. Let's continue. So here you choose what type of exhibitions you're searching for. Um, so in our case, it'll be contemporary, but we'll just focus on everything art related here including digital cultures and maybe let's do design sculpture installation as well so here really what we try to do with the exhibition request is um, to make it fairly vague so that your anonymity uh, can be kept um, let's continue and so your space, let's assume it's anywhere between 500 square meters and 750 square meters. And the price range is anywhere between 50 to 100. And you can po actually mention that it's not really just any paintings that you're searching for, but you're specifically interested in contemporary art. Right, so here, let's press continue. And we have the summary of our request. And then if you click create request, it will appear uh, with all the other requests. And because this is a demo, we will not be doing, uh, we will not actually be posting the request. So let's just click back and go back to our dashboard. Now, this, we're back to the dashboard. So uh, today you have seen how to uh, search through Vistari exhibitions and how to use filters, how to get in touch with the owners of the exhibitions, as well as how to search for through exhibition requests and how to post exhibition requests. Uh, if you have any more questions, please get in touch with me, uh, Jenny at uh, Jenny at Vastari.com. Um, thank you so much for your time today, and I hope you have uh, a lovely day. Thank you.